understanding. Control. Manipulate scientific data. Take over. Blast. Control. World government. Shut down infrastructure. Ship everything to China. Just... Let's go. Have you ever had trouble finding keys to functions in Apex Legends? Well, this is the video for you. Config files for noobs. Or beginner's guide to config files. Whatever you want to call it, we are talking about config files today. Before I get too deep, I must ask you to subscribe. Because if you don't, you might miss all the bomb tutorials I have planned for you. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Config files are actually super easy to set up. First, find your Apex install location, open Steam, right click on Apex, go to manage, browse local files, then CFG, right click, new, text document, name it autoexec.cfg, make sure it's spelled exactly like this. Yes, it matters. Next, go back to Steam. Did you close it? Well, I didn't tell you to close it yet. Whatever, sucks for you, open it again. Right click, Apex, Properties. Under Launch Options, paste this string of text. Oh, you don't wanna type it out? Fine, I'll just do it all, I'll just do it, I'll just, 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 just give me your computer, I'll just do it all for you. Check the description, it's there. Well, there you go. You have a CFG file that you can now use to your heart's content. Now that you have this glorious file, how do you use it? Well, I personally use the CFG to bind both move forward and interact to mouse wheel forward so I can scroll loot, or mega slurp as I call it, and tap strafe. If you don't know how to tap strafe, what are you doing? I have a whole tutorial on it. Link in the corner and at the end of the video. To recreate this bind, copy this text. Yes, it is in the description again. To your CFG file and save it. Yep, that's it. It's pretty easy. Now, for more information on binding keys, check the Reddit post in the description. You can also change all kinds of settings with your CFG file. Here are some cool ones. What do these do, you might ask? Well, I got no idea, I just found them on Reddit. Using autoexec files, you can set complex keybinds as well as change settings. The keybind function is the most helpful in my opinion and is what I use it for. Well, I hope you learned something. That's all I got for you today. If you need help, leave a comment and I'll respond. And please like the video if you wanna see more videos like this. All right, bye, I guess I'll leave now.